This is the Apple Watch Series 1. The Apple Watch Series 1 is essentially the original Apple Watch with a brand new dual core processor in a much cheaper price tag. The Apple Watch Series 1 was announced alongside the Series 2, and although it may lack key features such as true waterproofing, a brighter screen, and built-in GPS, the price tag of $100 less than what Apple is asking for the Series 2 makes the Apple Watch Series 1 a smartwatch with about 85% of the experience you're going to find with more expensive Series 2, but in a cheaper price point. So, is the Apple Watch Series 1 worth the cash, or should you spend $100 extra dollars and go for the Series 2? My name's Joe Martin with Phone Arena, and this is my full review of the Apple Watch Series 1. In regards to the overall design of the Apple Watch Series 1, we're dealing with a smartwatch that is virtually identical in regards to its overall look and aesthetics when compared to the Apple Watch Series 2 and even the original Apple Watch for that matter. The main difference between the Series 1 and the Series 2 in regards to its design slash build has to do with the water resistance. One of the key features for the Apple Watch Series 2 is its ability to be submerged up to 50 meters in water without any sort of harm done to the device. Now this is something that you cannot do with the Apple Watch Series 1, but what it does feature is IPX7 splash resistance. What this means is that wearing the Apple Watch Series 1 while you're doing dishes or if you happen to get caught out in a rainstorm for a second or two is not going to cause any serious harm to the device. A few splashes here and there are perfectly fine, but this is not something you're going to want to take and fully submerge into water because doing so will likely result in some problems with the hardware. In addition to the lack of true waterproofing the Series 1, it's also available in a much more limited collection as opposed to the Series 2. As it currently stands, the Apple Watch Series 1 is only available with an aluminum casing and a sport band. If you'd like to purchase the Apple Watch with a stainless steel case or a different style of band, you're going to have to be forced to go for the Series 2 collection. Now while this could be seen as a downside to some, I don't view this as such. Not only is aluminum lighter than stainless steel, but it's also more resistant to scratches and other cosmetic blemishes. Some people could see aluminum as a lesser quality material than the stainless steel option, but in my eyes it's really the best way to go if you're looking to purchase an Apple Watch. Both the Apple Watch Series 1 and Series 2 feature the exact same screen resolution with their displays. However, one area where the Series 2 screen does get the advantage is with its brightness. The display on the Apple Watch Series 2 is two times brighter than what's found on the Series 1, with 1000 nits as opposed to 450 nits. Even with this being the case, I've yet to run into a situation where I've really found myself wishing that the screen on the Series 1 was brighter than it currently is. You can certainly pay an extra $100 for the Series 1 if you thought that the display on the original Apple Watch was too dim, but for most people, the display here should be perfectly serviceable. Another area where we see a difference between the Apple Watch Series 1 and the Series 2 has to do with the included processing package. Both series feature a new dual core processor, but the actual processing package that they offer is a bit different. The Series 1 uses the S1P dual core chipset, whereas the Series 2 boasts the more powerful S2 dual core package. While the S2 processor will be better for future proofing the Apple Watch to ensure that it's as fast as humanly possible, I've yet to run into any problems with the dual core S1P chipset that's currently powering the Series 1. Everything runs incredibly smooth and feels quite snappy, and that's something that certainly can't be said about the original Apple Watch. Now there are some instances where an animation will stutter on the Series 1 for a quick second or two, but it's nothing that really detracts from the overall experience of using the watch. Navigating the UI, dictating voice messages, paying with Apple Pay, and pretty much everything else moves at a very fast and enjoyable pace. Last but not least, the Apple Watch Series 1 does not come equipped with built-in GPS. I'm not much of a swimmer, so the lack of honest-to-god waterproofing really isn't that big of a deal on the Series 1. With that said, I am a big runner, and not having built-in GPS with the Series 1 Apple Watch is a bummer. Due to the lack of GPS with the Series 1, this means you'll need to lug around your iPhone if you want to accurately track your outdoor walks, runs, bicycle trips, and more. Being able to track all of this data directly on the Apple Watch certainly would have been nice, but then again it makes sense as to why Apple omitted it from the Series 1 and did keep it as an exclusive feature for the Series 2. With those differences between the two series in mind, is the Apple Watch Series 1 worth it? As long as you know what you're getting into with the Series 1, it certainly is. The lack of full waterproofing and GPS is bound to be a disappointment for those who need those features in a smartwatch, 
and if you do need those, go for the Series 2. However, if you don't plan on swimming with your Apple Watch, and you don't mind carrying around your iPhone while you're running or walking, the Series 1 is still an excellent purchase, especially for that lower price tag. Apple Watch Series 1 starts out at just $269 on Apple's website for the 38mm model. This makes it $100 less than the starting price for the Series 2, and for that price, Apple Watch Series 1 is a steal. It's not completely waterproof, its display isn't as bright as Series 2, and it doesn't come equipped with built-in GPS. If those things don't matter to you though, Apple Watch Series 1 is essentially the original Apple Watch with a speedier processor, better interface thanks to watchOS 3, and a much lower price tag. If that sounds like an enticing package to you, then the Apple Watch Series 1 makes for an excellent purchase. So guys, there you have it. That is my full review of the Apple Watch Series 1. If you have any additional questions about the smartwatch, please feel free to let me know what those are down in the comments below, and I will do my best to get those answered as soon as I can. For more videos like this, be sure to like this one and go ahead and subscribe to the Phone Arena YouTube channel, and for all the latest tech news, reviews, deals, and more, make sure to check us out at PhoneArena.com. I've been Joe Maring with Phone Arena. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video.